Hey everybody, so as a designer, I feel like books are very important to my life to continue to learn, grow, and just evolve my perspective on life. So in this video, I want to share with you five of my favorite books that changed my perspective and I feel like overall improved my life. I'll share all these in the description for you to go check out. And with that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the books. This first one I've spoke about a bit before. You've probably seen it in a few of my other videos or me talk about it on the podcast. And if you're gonna take away anything from this video, I, rec I recommend highly getting this book, The Four Agreements. It's a super easy read. It's by Don Miguel Ruiz. It's all about Toltec wisdom and these four agreements that you can live your life by that will overall make you a better person. And I think if you can follow these even 50% of your capacity, your life will be for the better. I read this when I was in kind of a weird place and it overall helped me out quite a bit. To give you a little overview, the four agreements are be impeccable with your word, don't take anything personally, don't make assumptions, and always do your best. And I really resonated with the don't take anything personally one because in the internet age, it's easy to feel attacked or get let down by all the things going on or think that everyone's out to get you. and. You don't know what's going on in other people's lives so it's easy if you don't take step as personally it's easier to continue with what you're trying to do focus on the task at hand and not get bogged down by all the like emotion and negative things that come with interacting with tons of different people every day this next book is called atomic habits this one really helped me out with breaking a lot of bad habits as well as helping me develop out new ones. It's all about the science behind how habits are formed, how easily it can happen, the way it becomes like muscle memory for bad habits as well as good. It helped me when I was trying to quit smoking. It also helped me find other bad habits I had like playing too many video games, staying up late and having a weird irregular sleep schedule. And it really helped me break those and figure out like how I was as a person and then apply those things to form good habits. And overall, it improved my life as a freelancer and being self-employed because it helped me create habits like managing my time well, getting up at a specific time every day, and like eating and things around the same time. So that stuff really helps out and helps you stay in a nice schedule and build out habits for the better and get rid of a lot of destructive ones. So definitely check this out if you're trying to get rid of any bad habits or create some new ones that will improve your life. So as you know, most of us are graphic designers here, so I would be mistaken to not include a design book. So this one is How to Be a Graphic Designer Without Losing Your Soul. This is one of my favorite design books when it comes to reading material that I've ever read in the field. I read this book uh, right after I graduated and it really gave me a lot of hope and motivation for a graphic design career. For a while after I graduated, I was feeling a little bit nervous about working and if I thought if I even wanted to do design, what kind of fields I wanted to get into all the specifics and this book really helped give me a lot of perspective on the different things that you can do with design. It goes over freelancing versus working in a studio, setting up your own studio, some stuff about like taxes, uh, what graphic design is nowadays and it gave me a lot of hope because it showed me there's tons of different avenues you can go down. You don't have to be put into a single box. You can switch it up. You can stay fluid, keep moving through like your career path, navigating it and figuring out what you want to do. In this book, I highly recommend, especially if you're new in design or you just graduated school, it'll really help you out. So this next book, it's a little bit different because it's fiction, but with that being said, put a, I would put an asterisk next to that because even though this book's fiction has a lot of truth about like the way we live our life and society today, it's called Ishmael. It's a novel about this guy who basically meets this talking monkey and they start to communicate and talk about how the way that animals and humans interact in the world and it gives you so much perspective on like if an animal could talk how they would communicate with humans and how they would view the world it basically goes over things about how like how humans see the world and like we're destroying it but then we're also trying to act like we're good for protecting it and saving it, but we were the ones destroying it in the first place. And it's cool to see this human and this uh, ape Ishmael interact and give their different perspectives on like the animal world, humans, and our relationship with the earth. And yeah, it's fiction because obviously 
gorillas and apes can't talk. However, that's probably the most fictitious thing about this book. A lot of the stuff is really true. You can apply this to a lot of things in real life. And after I read it, I honestly felt like pretty weird for a while. It, it changed my views on like the way we treat animals, how we treat the earth. And I think it, at the very least, it made me think about these things more as I did them through my daily life and made me a little more conscious of the things that we do in our time that we spend here on the planet. So the last one I want to give you here is an absolute gem. It's called The PMA Effect. It's by John Joseph from a legendary hardcore band called The Crow Mags. Check their music out too, really good. This book is about John Joseph, who was in this hardcore band. He was addicted to drugs. He had a pretty gnarly life. He completely turned it around. He became vegan. He starts doing marathons, riding bikes, and he becomes like this really positive person. And it's all about living uh, your life with the PMA, so a uh, positive mental attitude. And I know it sounds like a little corny and, and new agey at first, but it really gave me a lot of perspective on like, you have the power to be happy or have a positive outlook on anything that happens. Bad things are always going to happen and you're not able to control that. However, you are able to control how you react to it. You are able to not let it get you down as much and be positive through things. And these kind of books, the reason I really like them is you can take all these different kind of books that are able to improve your mindset or, you know, help you be more positive. And you don't have to take all of them word for word for truth. You can combine all of it and form your own perspective and form your own thoughts on things. And all that, I think, overall will improve your lifestyle, make you happier, a better person, and also improve your creativity. Because when you're not worried about a lot of bullshit and you're thinking positive, you have a lot more time to spend on your work, your career, and just overall improving. So I hope you guys can check out these books, continue to grow, continue to do what you're doing, continue to create, and thank you for watching. If you like this, please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support a little bit more, check out the Patreon below. Check out the books in the description. And with that being said, I'll see you next time. Peace.